In my last video, I described pre-modern art as endorsing authority, endorsing ideas like truth, justice, examples of courage, um, examples of historic greatness. And I said that you won't see anything quite like this in contemporary art. And the reason is because it would just be fake. So why would it be fake? Why would it feel fake to just about anyone? So in order to understand fakeness, we have to understand first that as contemporary people, we have accumulated an entire history of art. We, uh, we have all the highlights sort of lined up for us, cultivated and isolated in museums. And so we're seeing all, all the greatest hits. So in order for new art to to be accepted, it has to sort of withstand everything that's already been made. And in order to do that, it has to recognize that we've already been through the periods that we've been through. One example, of, one way of pointing this out is by looking at art before and after a war. So if you looked at American art before the Civil War, it was filled with the sort of frontierism, the exuberance of a, an exploratory society. It had a lot of imagination. I'm thinking of the Hudson River School painters painting epic landscapes, painting fantasy landscapes that don't really exist but are sort of comprised together from different examples of geologic and natural features. So it has this romantic quality. And then the Civil War comes, and then you have someone like Winslow Homer, who is depicting these uh, basically everyday life scenes. Um, it's, there's much more sobriety uh, to them. So if you, and you could pick out any war and any society, and you will see this. War has this effect. Change has this effect on society. And you see the human condition changing and evolving. One key feature of modernism is that the human condition had to take into account, or rather, our understanding of the human condition had to take account a lot of very negative things about the psyche. Um, it had to take into account our selfishness, our all of our frailty. Um, Pre-modern art, again, is really endorsing convention. It's endorsing the main authorities of society. And that's going to be purified of these negative elements of the human psyche. So as we get into modernism, artists sort of have to acknowledge that the human being is flawed. Artists have to acknowledge that there's selfishness and just dirty shit behind each and every human being and that that is a, a necessary part of understanding the human condition. And the reason why this is, again, because imagine going war after war, World War One or World War Two where you see well-adjusted people, again, following the conventions of their society, do heinous things. So our, our understanding of the human condition keep, it has to keep on updating itself. And as it updates itself, it's taking into account more and more areas in which we are vulnerable to our appetites, to our impulses, to violence and all of these um, transgressions.